You know, let's let's do Maximilian's chapter while we're at it. Oh, there's a telephone call for me. Hello? Remember me, Alex. This isn't really happening. Freaking prank callers. Do you have 10 pound balls? That's like, you didn't even call the right place. Motherfucker probably went on to call the golf course after that. Called the golf course asking them for 10 pound balls. Okay, nope, not changed yet. Alright. Okay, I remember this cutscene really doesn't change much. If you notice, the spell he casts before he talks to his agent every time is Magic Pool. My liege, the future is yours. The light in the Age of Darkness has been extinguished. The Pillar of Flesh has been constructed. The master of chaos, the keeper of the ancients, is long dead. The planets will be in alignment soon. All is prepared for your arrival. I will begin the final incantation that will bring you into our world within days. The next millennium will truly usher in a new age. Your guardians, now prepare the gate. Alex discards it, she just throws it right out the window. I will not argue that I was shocked by the sudden mention of one of my ancestors, the distinguished Dr. Maximilian Royvas. It chilled me to my bones. Where had this ancient book come from? How had my ancestor stumbled upon so it? Two out of three Royvises in this game began to read are medical professionals. To learn his story. Dr. Maximilian Royvis, the pathologist. Seems that Edward Royvis, the psychologist. And Alex Royvis, who reads books. Alone since the death of his wife, and since his children had their own adult lives, he explored the house to discover his family roots. It has been two weeks since the death of my father, and it has finally come to me to look over the mansion. Now, I am truly alone, and forced to start a new life here in Rhode Island. I intend to make the mansion mine, and live in it as my forefathers have, to continue the family tradition. The mansion has its secrets, I'm sure, and in my time here, I have to make them mine. That American flag does not look right. I can't examine the flag. The colonist's flag. Oh yeah, 1760. Not quite there yet. Wait, where does this door go to? Oh, this door goes out. I. I am fucking insane. I could have sworn they moved the door on me. They moved the door on me. Sure. Yep. The interior outhouse. A sight to behold. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna pull a dark side fill. I'm just gonna say that the game changed where the door was and just not blame my own ineptitude. Because why would you want to admit to your mistakes? Admitting to your mistakes means you have to have humility. Who wants to have humility? 
Does humility get you anywhere in the world? Of course it doesn't. People get places in the world by lying and being uh, arrogant as fuck. His face racked with sleepless nights and a strange gleam in his eye hint at a growingly odd demeanor. I just, I just like that description. I just like that description. I know I already went over it in the Wooly Off alignment, but I like it. Oh yeah, I remember that description. It's as if the nature of the house itself is soiled. And that is a very easy magical codex to miss. Well, I guess maybe not, because you do have to come in here for the pump handle. But yeah, you do have these two servants in here that turn into bone thieves later. And uh, you could punch them right now, and I think they do reveal themselves as bone thieves... Uh, because of that, but, like, if you punch him. Oh, shit! No, he's gonna fight me! He's a bone thief, and he's like, okay, nope, fuck you. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, okay. This was a bad idea. And you know what? I might as well just show off what happens when you, uh, pick the wrong one. Yeah, you just, you just take damage. I just realized I probably should not have just carelessly taken that damage because I do not get Chaturga's uh, rune until uh, until a little bit. By a little bit, I mean like some time. So we're gonna make the monsters appear by picking up the tome. Oh, that's great. Alright, yep, we got the letters, but we don't need to read the letters. Can we get the music for when uh, you load up the game? with a little bit of extra. A little bit more of a death rattle to it. Did I even shoot it? Might as well reload while my controls are reversed. Alright, we discovered Reveal Invisible, but we can't do anything with it. We can't attempt Reveal Well, we could attempt it, but it won't do anything. Well, at least I'll be able to add that entry into it. The medical journal. And I might as well just get the the, the Zelototh Bone Thief while I'm not distracted. Perform an autopsy even though we, like, severed half its body. Oh, he's, he's a pathologist. He's probably used to seeing dead things. Give it a kick for good measure. You've tormented me that. Oh, 
Oh, I probably could have gotten the Bone Thief from... I am just not on the ball today. First it was the thing with the door, and now there's the oversight with the freaking Bone Thief. Since I discovered on the the Ulyoth alignment, actually, let's see. I, I think I already got that sanity effect on the Ulyoth alignment, the one where uh, Maximilian shoots himself accidentally. But no, not that. But since I already know, discovering from the Ulyoth alignment that uh, the horror that's out in this uh, in the foyer here is actually of uh, of the dominant alignment of Pius's ancient. I discovered that last time with Zelatoth, or with the with the Uliath alignment, that this is a Zelatoth horror, and because, you know, it, this one's containing the Chaturga rune, this is a Chaturga uh, horror, so I have my weapons enchanted appropriately. I actually could never tell if the horror was actually of the same color of the rune it's bearing, because, like, it would make sense if it was, but I just... I, I didn't think that was the case due to the fact that it was sepia, so I was never I was never certain. I mean, I suppose I could have just failed that fight and then find out for myself, but that's for squares. But yeah, that's that's gonna be ah, uh, that's gonna be a lot of what we're gonna hear. We're gonna be hearing a lot of Chaturga spells on this alignment. So get used to listening to Chaturga, blah, 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 who is voiced by Greg Eagles, who also voices uh, Michael later. He's also known as the voice actor for oh, uh, fuck, what's his name? He's the bomb disposal specialist in Metal Gear Solid Two. Peter Stillman. Wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Autopsy. It scares my powdered wig right off. Oh yeah, this one's gonna be a bone thief. No, um, we got the we got the room shaking because there's a horror. In, there is totally a horror in this basement. Yes, I I I was completely fooled. You got me with that sanity effect. A horror in this basement. I mean, I suppose it is possible with summon horror if you so desire to do so, but it doesn't seem necessary to me. Why won't you let me out? Because you have a you have guns in there. Yeah. I think the camera angle has to be right for the sanity effect too. I might just be crazy saying that, but I don't know. Alright. Oh, I don't need to attempt the autopsy on Mantarok because I already did that on the other alignment. So, uh, now that we have the Bankrock rune, I can create shield. No, not that. <laughs> You're an idiot. Protect self. Sign for Chaturga on the left. Uh, there's... I already did... Pro protect area has already been done. Yeah, I think that's all I can do for now. Oh wait, no! 
No, I can do magical attack. What am I thinking? I'm just like, hold on. I feel like there are more spells that I could do. I can't do magic pool yet, which is basically the best spell to do. The best spell in the game. And unfortunately, people who let's play this game end up not actually knowing what this... Or they do blind LPs of the game, they have no idea what the fuck magic pool does, and they just easily dismiss it as a useless spell. And it's like, because you guys used it to try to solve a puzzle, but you don't know what the fuck it does. Oh, well, I can't dispel that, so there's no escape. Zombie. Don't give a fuck about the zombie. He's already dead. And it was apparently such a struggle for Maximilian to defeat this creature. The accursed beast was dead. But not without not his toll on me. And that was only one, there was an entire, I needed help even though I vanquished that thing without a problem whatsoever. I knew I had to get help. I guess the game developers and thought that you would struggle more with that fight. I just had to find it. Which you probably would if this was your first time playing this, but yeah. I need to get help. I need to, I, how did you think that this was going to go, Max, you think? Oh. I'm gonna tell everyone about this freaking house that has all these. My, I'm gonna tell them all that my house has all these demons in them, and I killed my servants because I thought that they were possessed by these monsters. And we need to go into my house and seal this giant underground city that's in my well. Instead, they jeered and threw me into this forsaken place. So this cutscene particularly was actually in the demo, the Nintendo 64 demo. Fools cast away their hopes of salvation by locking me in this damned asylum. May the rats eat your eyes! I am now lost to your cause! The darkness comes! <laughs> 